I believe 318 will come out this year, but not with all the content on the roadmap. If I had to guess, probably in late November or early December. Well, who would have saw that coming? It's not like I've been saying for over a month that their timeline was impossible and they had to delay 318. So impossible that 318 didn't go to Evocati until the second week of October. What upsets me about this is I didn't make a video on this sooner because they announced this last week. Unfortunately, I was busy that time, but the new roadmap is out and we got a better idea of what 318 will look like. But what's more interesting is what they didn't say. So let's take a look. But first, 317 refuses to die. And because 318 is delayed, we're getting a new 317 patch ahead of IAE instead. 317.4 currently contains IAE and, surprise surprise, the Drake Corsair. In my previous video, I predicted that the Drake Corsair would be released after 318 because it didn't look as polished as the Drake Vulture. Now CIG plans to release it ahead of 318. But here's an interesting tidbit. With 317.4 weeks away from release, it's still listed as tentative. Which makes me wonder, is the Drake Corsair actually coming next patch? Well here's what could happen. I'm not saying it will, but it could happen. The Drake Corsair appears in IAE, you can go inside it, look around, press some buttons like a kid in a car dealership, but you won't be able to fly it. Which would be a bummer, at least for the people who paid for it. What could also happen, is that they commit it in the next roadmap roundup, right before 317.4 is due to release which would be cutting it real close. Then there's the Grey Cat STV, which has already been out for a couple of weeks, so its addition to the roadmap is basically a formality. More features have been committed for 318. Most of these aren't surprising though. They're mainly peripheral, but I was wrong about the new missions in Orison. Turns out it will definitely be in 318. But there are still a lot of big features that are still listed as tentative in 318, like salvaging and persistent entities. Although that's probably because they haven't gone through extensive testing yet. Prison activities though, I may still be right about that because I said it might get cut, and they still haven't committed it yet. Speaking of which, CIG released a new Inside Star Citizen episode today, and guess what they talked about? That's right, if you guessed Cargo Refactor, you're completely wrong. That's still MIA. What they talked about was these new underground facilities they're developing for next year and their new Gen 12 renderer they plan to release for 318. According to the roadmap, Cargo Refactor will be worked on until mid to late November and they're only working on it part time. And according to this roadmap, 7 people are working on it until late November. So I wonder, how close is it to being done and polished enough for it to be shown? And is it gonna be in 318? Let me know in the comments below what you think of all this. And if you want more Star Citizen stuff, check out this video here. It has lots of good info.